Anthony, so you hold the the Warriors to a pretty low percentage from three, I think about 27%. The Blazers obviously play a different style of offense, but what was going on tonight with the threes made? You know, what were you guys trying to figure out on that end, and how big a factor was that? No, that was the biggest factor. Um, the guys we wanted shoot the ball besides Dane um, and Simons. Uh, you know, they made shots. They made threes. We wanted the ball to find some of their guys, and they shot the ball extremely well. I mean, 23 threes, Tybu hit four. Um, you know, I think Wofford hit two. Like, the guys who weren't, weren't shooting the ball, so, um, you know, hats off to them. Do you notice any carryover effect on the offensive end? If you know, several of Dame's shots were contested. Um, so you guys played defense for 22, 23 <coughs> seconds. They make the shot. Did you feel like maybe the energy waned on the offensive end after possessions like that? Um, maybe. I'm not sure. It's you know, when you play, like you said, good defense. You know, you guys. Um, you know, you get the ball out of, the, out of the hands of the guys that you want to get it out of, and the next one get to a guy, you know, that's fairly poor three-point shooter, and they make it kind of, you know, deflating, um, especially when it's over and over this entire game. So um, maybe a little bit. Uh, obviously, it's our second game together. Um, just still trying to figure it out, you know, D'Lo, Malik. You know, trying to figure out D'Lo mainly because he has the ball in his hands a lot. Um, you know, then other guys trying to figure it out as well, off, you know, off of them. Um, you know, Dennis, you know, a little bit myself, uh, Austin, Troy. Like, we all trying to figure it out. This is fairly new. And then Brian, you know, when he comes back. So, um, you know, even though we fairly new, it still has to be a sense of urgency. But tonight, them. You know, them guys on the other end, I mean, on the other team just made shots. Either with 24 games left, six new players, not sure when the bond is going to play again. How much of a challenge will it be for you guys to get into the top 10? Um, I don't know the uh, games back and all that right now, but, um, you know, we definitely have to win more games than we lose for sure. Uh, you know, I think the guys we have now, um, we can we can do it. We just got to speed up the process. Um, you know, it, it's definitely be challenging a little bit because uh, they are fairly new and we not fairly new. They are new and we try to, you know, they try to learn the the system on uh, both ends of the floor, um, and then also try to figure it out. You know, on a, on a lot on the offensive end. Um, so I mean that's the that's the biggest part. I mean I'm Malik I'm, shot the ball straight well and I see it go through the basket. Um, <clears throat> but you know it's going to take practice and you know us having practice and um, shoot arounds and all those type of things to kind of speed up this process. Ad, you mentioned last game that when some offensive things weren't working, you concentrate on defense. Obviously when the team. Like the Blazers make shots the way we're making them, it's hard to do that. Where is your confidence sort of in your recovery process on your offensive game, sort of finding that touch, finding some of the mid-range shots, and, and how much do you think your opportunities will be affected uh, if LeBron is able to play on Wednesday? Uh, affected like in a bad way? No, affected in a, like, I mean, Darwin said defenses are changing up pitches on you, and, and so there's more defensive attention focused on uh, okay yeah um yeah obviously uh when he comes back um kind of get kind of that let's focus in on, on ad i mean d low come in and he, he wants to make the game easier for both of us um, with his scoring but we have guys to to make plays and that can open the floor up for myself um but yeah i mean every shot that i that i've taken so far since i've been back is Felt good. I talked about it earlier today. Um, one of the coaches that every shot feels good, just either short <clears throat> um, or long, which I which I'll take. Um, you know, it takes time. I think it's my seventh game, eighth game, something like that. So, but uh, I mean, it's not an excuse. I still have to, you know, be productive.
for my team um, to win basketball games, but um, I feel fine. Just got to make shots. AD, uh, two, two quick ones. Uh, at shoot-around today, Mo said that he nicknamed you and LeBron 3-6 Mafia. I uh, wanted to get your reaction to that nickname. Uh, uh, I didn't know that. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, he hasn't called you guys that? No. Yet, no? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, they got a, some nice songs. <laughs> um, we haven't got a chance. To, he haven't got a chance to see it live. Like up close, so you know maybe he uh, when he comes able to come around. Um, I think starting Wednesday he'll um, we'll be able to hear a little bit, and hopefully that gives us some a boost to get a win. That, that was going to be my second question: is just what you know he, he's going to be eligible to return on Wednesday. What what are you guys looking for from him, and, and what can he provide yeah, in the rotation? Uh, elite <clears throat> rim protector. He can shoot the, the three ball, um, rebound. You know, obviously he got size, uh, seven footer, so um, he can definitely bring uh, some help to us um, on both ends of the floor. Well, I'm excited to get him and uh, try to get one going into break and, and come back and, and I don't know how many games we're going to have after, but try to put a, a string of wins together to make a push.